everyone, it's Brie, and today I'm going to talk about the different ways to describe Emmy. So, let's face it, it's really hard to get people to understand how we feel um, being sick um, with chronic fatigue or Emmy, as um, we all know it. And so today I'm just going to show you some of my ways that I use to describe to my friends and family and, you know, people in general who just want to know what it is. Um, or who don't understand what it's like living with Emmy. So I've got three ways to show you today and another one that I might suggest just to throw it out there. It's not a very good one but still. Um, so yeah, I hope you find this useful and enjoy it in a long way. So let's get started. Um, the first method I use to describe Emmy is the spoon theory. And I'm sure quite a lot of us with any chronic illness will know that the spoon theory um, is a really good way to describe any chronic illness. Um, so here are my spoons. Ta -da! My spoons. And these are the main ones, so I'll leave these for a second. I'll explain them in a minute. Um, so there are 12 spoons here, and they all have energy written on them. Ta -da! And what I do when I'm trying to describe, this is actually kind of a really good way to describe and meet someone because they can interact and they can relate to it. Um, so first of all I say take two spoons out because there's 12 in here and I only have about 10 spoons. So I'll just take any random two out. And what I do is I then give them it, you know, give someone a bouquet of spoons, wooden spoons, painted with energy on them and say here you go, you have Emmy. Um, and this will work for any illness actually. Um, just be aware that just be aware of that fact. Okay, so then I start off by saying, right, now describe your day from beginning to end as fully as you can. Um, and the first thing you'll say is, right, so I wake up and I get out of bed and you go, right, okay, you just been of energy for that. Bye bye, energy. Gone. And then I'll say, right, okay, okay, this is actually just a hypothetical, what they might say. Um, then I go to the bathroom, right, you've walked somewhere, that's energy. Um, I do my makeup, I do my hair, right, makeup. Hair, you know, this is all energy, we're all gonna use it, every little bit counts. Um, and then I'll go downstairs, right? I walk downstairs, and I'll have breakfast, eating breakfast, and then I'll, I forgot to get dressed. Okay, so basically, before that, they'll say, I got dressed, spoon, um, or actually, they could be in their pajamas, they could eat, they could get dressed off, they eat. I'm not completely crazy. Um, spoon, you know, brush teeth. After you've eaten, then we'll go out to the car, we'll get in the car and we'll go drive somewhere, right, all gone, no more spoons. And that's a really good point actually, so usually they won't get through the whole day. Um, sometimes they get up to lunch time, you know, depends how you feel, or depends how severely you want to describe your Emmy, um, or how severely you have Emmy actually, it's probably a better way to say it. Um, so yeah, that's a really good way I find, and my second spoon, yeah. Um, these are all extra energy. They all say extra energy on them. Ta da! And the idea of these spoons is that I'll hide one of them, let's hide one of them behind my back when I go and get the spoons from the kitchen or wherever they are. And at the end, then I'll say, right, so um, when I'm dealing with Emmy or having to go on a long journey, I'll always try to keep an extra spoon of energy. We have a funny face on the back. Spoon. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then I'll say right that's my way. So that's how I describe Emmy one way. Um another way I describe Emmy is using a battery. Okay, so you have to forgive my awful drawing. This was drawn like five seconds ago. So I'll describe it as a battery, if you can see. Go. No? Okay, so when, basically, when you go to sleep, your battery, it's like describing your body as a battery, you charge from here all up to the top, and then over, gradually over the day, um, you use up all that energy. Now, for someone with an ME, you don't have that much energy. You might only be able to charge from here to here. All this area is stopped by ME. This is all ME. I should probably write ME there, but we're wrong. Um, and there's like a physical barrier. You physically can't recharge more than that point. That is 
it for you. That's all your energy gone. Um, so that's a good way to subscribe actually. And you know, also we use our energy a lot quicker than people who don't have any. So healthy person, sick person. There we go. And sorry. Um, another way I describe me is a bit like this. So cool cards, huh? I like them. Mm -hmm. Person's upside down. Um, so here's someone who's quite happy. Mm, I can't find okay, I hope you can see that person. Someone who is very happy just walking down the road. And they haven't got a care in the world, they're very happy and everything. Um, but someone with me da, 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 has to drag this great, great big thing along with them. Um, so I describe it as having like a massive crate attached to you that you physically can't get rid of. Like Emmy doesn't go away. In fact, any and you can write any chronic illness in here. You know, it doesn't go away. Um, it's always there, always attached to you. So whenever you want to drag me out to the shops, just think about what I'm having to take with me when I go. It's not just me, it's my whole Emmy. And that's actually quite a good way to describe it if they want to get a physical grip on it. Um, it's actually quite a good way to describe it to yourself actually. If you're trying to figure out ways to get around it and sort of figure out what ME is or any chronic illnesses, so just be aware of that. Um, my fourth way of describing um, ME isn't the best, but it's more to describe someone when they're saying, "Well, why, why aren't you fine today? Like you were fine yesterday." Um, and I describe it a bit like a blind or a curtain, you know. Um, I'll describe it as a curtain to begin with. So you have your curtains at the window and they're drawn completely back so all the light's let through the window. You know, and so all the any light can come in, there's nothing stopping it. And that's what you're like on a good day, you know. Your Emmy is there, the curtains are there, but it's not affecting you. Now on a bad day they might be drawn slightly, or they might be completely drawn together. And that's how it feels with Emmy. You, you know, there's no light coming through, it's really hard, you used all your energy really quickly. And, you know, even when your curtains are drawn completely back, you know, they might not be stopping any light, but they're still there. They haven't physically vanished anywhere. They're always there. And that's just kind of a way to physically remind people that your Emmy doesn't go away. You know, it's always there. It's always going to be kind of around you, um, even with all the different treatments, because Emmy is not curable. And so, yeah. Um, I hope this has helped a little bit. It's a good way to subscribe. Hope these, sorry, hope these are good ways to subscribe Emmy or any chronic illness that you might have to other people who don't necessarily understand, but you really want to describe it to them. So, subscribe to my channel to see when new videos, and talk to you soon.